Good morning, Mr. Sunshine Real Trading coming to you live right here in sunny South Florida. Today we're on a motorcycle, we're taking a little viney, we're gonna go for a little ride, we're gonna take you up South Ocean Boulevard, give you a little tour as to how it's going. Donald Trump, the President of the United States is in town, so why don't we take a little ride today and show you exactly how beautiful sunny South Florida is. I'm gonna bring it to you live as we're driving down the road today. You're gonna to see all everything that what life has to offer in sunny South Florida, right here in Palm Beach, Florida. So let's get ourselves together. I'm gonna to be your little tour guide. You're gonna actually ride with Mr. Sunshine Motorcycle Eddie as we point out some of the highlights here in sunny South Florida. And what we're doing, we're starting down here at Lantana, South Ocean Boulevard. As you can see, we have a lot of condos down this way. And uh, a lot of these are for sale, many are for rent, for lease. If you're thinking about moving down here to sunny South Florida, now is the time to think about it. Mr. Sunshine Realtor Eddie can put you in any one of these buildings, 55 and plus. We have low maintenance. We have them on the ocean and on the intracoastal right here on South Ocean Boulevard. Now, as we run around here, you can see how beautiful things are here. We have oceanfront condos here on the uh, one side, intracoastal. Many of these buildings are uh, belong to each side, so you'll actually have your choice of you want to be on the water side or the ocean. As we come down here, here's a 55 and plus here on the right hand side. Uh, we have condos for as little as about 1100 a month uh, for rental, uh, about $120,000 uh, uh, to buy one. And uh, depending on the building, the maintenance will be reflected as to what you can afford and what your budget would be. We have a lot of them here, the Halcyon, a beautiful building. We have the Hamptons, the Atrium. As we continue north here on South Ocean Boulevard, as you can see where the Intracoastal, it meets A1A, it's one of the narrowest areas on the island. As we continue north toward Midtown and Donald Trump's Winter White House, Mar-a-Lago. He's in town this week and uh, security is extremely tight. We're actually going to take you on tour, show you what's going on up there in the world of the President of the United States and Donald Trump. As you can see, it's a fantastic day today. Looking at about a high of 84 degrees. The waters are calm on the Intracoastal. We got a chop on the ocean. And as we continue, and we have the Enclave here. Enclave, a very wonderful building. A lot of uh, one bedrooms, two and three bedrooms are available here. Uh, as we continue up, you're gonna see Bellaria. But before we get to Bellaria, you can see only a few of the condos have boat docks here, which uh, they're going to be very far and in between. We got the fantastic Hamptons here on the right. And as we continue, here is the Palm Beach. This is a 55 and plus. I actually had a condo there at one time. It's directly on the beach. You're not gonna get any closer than that. Uh, the Valeria right here, Valeria. Prices start at about a, uh, two million and go up to about five and a half. Spectacular building inside Valeria, right next to the Lake Worth Beach. So as you come down here, we're going to see as we come up to the light here. Now we're heading, continuing north. We're going to pass the Lake Worth Bridge right here. And we have many hotels right here in this immediate area. Fairfield being the lowest one. Uh, Marriott, the lowest price. A spectacular uh, hotel right on the Intracoastal. You're right across from the Lake Worth Beach. And as you approach over there, you have the Tideline, a boutique hotel, five-star hotel, owned by Jeff Green. And then obviously the Four Seasons, another five-star hotel. They actually had a five-star rating 19 years in a row. So when you're talking about the Four Seasons, you're talking about the best. You know, and if you live up north and you have the Four Seasons there, spring, summer, winter, or fall, 
when you come down here to Four Seasons directly on the ocean, you're going to get all the amenities and everything that Life has to offer. Now, we have the La Palma there, beautiful condos on the Intracoastal, and then we have the 2840 Royal Saxon. The Royal Saxon, 141 units. They have one of the only few boat docks that are available on an Intracoastal here. There's only a few others, but the prices inside the Saxon, very reasonable if you're looking for a second home or if you're looking for a permanent home. That would be a place you can consider and you can bring your boat and enjoy life in sunny South Florida. Now, as you got the Carlisle House here, we're coming up to the Regency, a lot of nice condos in there. We got the Ambassador Hotel, the Ambassador's a hotel with condos in there and uh, another beautiful building. It's got high maintenance, but it's been totally renovated. The 2600, the 2660 Beach Point actually have a penthouse in there for a million one, if not negotiable. If you're interested in penthouse living, it's a spectacular two bedroom, two bathroom, directly oceanfront. Uh, the Stratford, I actually have a friend of mine that lives in the Stratford. Right here, these are some low price condos uh, directly across the street. Also, directly on the ocean, very reasonable. If you're looking for a rental, they actually have several rentals. The President, the President here is another nice condo building on the Intracoastal. And as we come here now to the par three golf course, this is one of the only public golf courses here in Palm Beach. It's ocean to lake. It has a brand new uh, golf club inside a second floor El Fresco restaurant. It's a fabulous restaurant. It's operated by Renato's on Worth Avenue. They only also own the El Fresco in Worth Avenue in the Meisner Via as well. Uh, chef Jose Gracia, one of the best chefs. He was actually a personal chef of Donald Trump. He operates there. Ortega, the manager. So if you're looking for a nice place to eat on a golf course overlooking the ocean, that would be the place to go. Now, as we continue up here, we have apartments here at the Reef, beautiful building here. And as we come up here, now we have Phipps Park. You have Phipps Park South, Phipps Park North, right here would be the Ibis Isle. Ibis Island is an island within an island. As a matter of fact, you cross over the bridge and you come over there and they have beautiful exclusive lots available along with homes on that little island of Ibis the Phipps Park here on the north side. And as we come up here now to Sloan's Curve. Sloan's Curve, one of the best places in town. They have condos, they also have townhouses and single family homes within that complex. Very expensive, a beautiful place to live. There's actually a few billionaires that live in there. Jones of New York, uh, that, uh, and along with uh, Mr. Perlmutter, the Marvel comic uh, owner, billionaire Perlmutter, and uh, Vic Damone. Vic Damone actually has a place in there. He's actually married to Jones of New York, so they have a double beautiful place in there. Now, as we continue around Sloat's Curve, we're taking you live as we come around the bend. These two lots just sold here. And uh, property in Palm Beach, extremely expensive these days. It's uh, averaging about $20 million an acre so uh you can do the math on that we're gonna have a lot more here's a beautiful mansion here as we continue our treks north on south ocean boulevard see how beautiful the ocean is there's some more beautiful mansions they're actually building a brand new one right here take a look at the spectacular mansion that's going up right there in south ocean boulevard there's another one that's totally being re renovated and these homes upwards of 50 to 80 89 million dollars on some of these magnificent mansions along south ocean boulevard this is one of the best most beautiful streets to drive especially in a car or on a motorcycle you got everybody out enjoying this fabulous place each and every day as you can see more and more motorcycles today riding around here in sunny south florida now as we continue on up here we're going to be approaching Billionaire Row. Now, Billionaire Row is named for most of the billionaires that moved to sunny South Florida and mansions on this strip. 
as you can see, a lot of the other homes are being renovated here as the houses change hands. They either bulldoze them out, build brand new ones, or renovate what they have. You also have to be particularly careful when you buy one that it's not landmarked because if the property is landmarked, obviously you cannot uh, bulldoze it over. You actually have to renovate exactly what's there. Here's a beautiful Rolls Royce Phantom right there. A uh, little nice Porsche. We got a lot of people down here on the beach today walking around. And uh, as we come up here, Netscape founder Jim Clark. Jim Clark sold Netscape for three and a half billion dollars and he owns this magnificent mansion right here on the end. He actually has an underground tunnel that takes you over here to the guest house. It's uh, listed for 135 million and uh, it's a spectacular mansion all the way around. Now, as we continue our trek down South Ocean Boulevard, as we come around here, you're gonna see all the beauty and all the magnificence as to what's going on in sunny South Florida. Now, right here we have Rod Stewart's house. Rod Stewart lives right here on the right in this house right here. And uh, Palm Beach millionaire hedge fund, Citadel hedge fund owner, Ken Griffin spent $223 million for 12 acres right back here on Blossom Way. He's actually gonna build a house the size of a football field. Uh, these two houses here were built on speculation. This one here and the other one, each one $35 million. This one had just sold last week for full price. Never lived in a magnificent mansion right here in Palm Beach. And uh, to spend $223 million on oceanfront property and to build a house of the size of a football field, he'll have probably close to 350 to 400 million in that property by the time Ken Griffin is done. We have, now we're seeing the police cars, we're seeing all the action going on here as the police are maintaining all the security right here at Mar-a-Lago at the Winter White House, Donald, President Donald Trump's mansion. Now security, is extremely tight. There's a French Chateau, $85 million, went to foreclosure, was sold for $41 million. And now as we're coming up here to, what is this? Come on, dummy. As you can see, some people just don't know how to drive. As we're continuing, hey, how you doing? You can see the security is tight. They have the bomb squad here. They actually have a tent you have to drive through so they can check your vehicle to make sure you don't have any bombs. And as you can see, it's like a gauntlet here. You got the sheriff's office. You got a tower here. Police are everywhere. You can see everything extremely tight. And on this Easter holiday, Donald Trump is here in town. As you can see, they have all the security. Take a look at this. Here's the motorcade. We got a motorcade here with a lot of the uh, SS guards. We actually have the Coast Guard out here maintaining all the security. Sheriff's Department here on both sides. As you can see right here, we have the other Rolls Royces coming through town. And as we continue our little trek on Southern Boulevard, since the fact that they closed the Southern Boulevard North, because of Donald Trump's mansion and he's in town. You can look at his beautiful Rolls Royce. Look at that, absolutely phenomenal. A beautiful Rolls Royce, silver cloud, convertible. As you can see, we have the Coast Guards out here with the machine guns. Those are gunships from the United States Coast Guard. They have 30 caliber machine guns mounted on the front, triple engines, 1500 horsepower, and those boats with that machine gun man up on the front there. As you can see, I can't pan around at this particular point in time. But as you can see, security is extremely tight here in Palm Beach, Florida, when Donald Trump comes to town. As you can see, we got a beautiful Maseratis and everything else here in sunny South Florida. So you know what? We're gonna continue our trek here. We're gonna get off the bridge and we will head on down we're waiting 
for the light to change on Southern Boulevard. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour. We can actually, uh, we'll continue our tour uh, as we head up to Okeechobee Bridge, cross back into town, and we can continue our trek, show you the highlights. Howard Stern just bought a house in town, $53 million. Rush Limbaugh, he owns a house in town. And uh, you know, it's if you're thinking about moving to sunny South Florida, uh, 33480 oh, zip code is one place you gonna seriously consider about moving. Uh, you can actually go to my website, www.mypalmbeachrealestate.com, and you can see everything available here in sunny South Florida insofar as all the goodness as to what sunny South Florida has to offer. We're now continuing on Flagler Drive in West Palm Beach, overlooking the spectacular Intracoastal. Some of these Intracoastal homes, they're for sale, they have some for rent, they actually have some private boat docks here. As you can see, the boats that actually come when you purchase the house, you'll actually have access to your own private boat dock right here in sunny South Florida. Now, the Intracoastal, you have two inlets. You have the Boynton Inlet, which is south of here. You have Loggerhead Marina, Palm Beach Marina down there. And uh, if you travel north, you go up to the Palm Beach Inlet. Uh, out of the two, the Palm Beach is a more wider, more safer one. Boynton Inlet is a lot narrower. You need to navigate that a lot more carefully than you do the Palm Beach uh, Inlet up on the north end of town. There's also Singer Island up that way and Peanut Island. Peanut Island was actually an island that uh, they have a nuclear bomb shelter for when President Kennedy was living in the north end of Palm Beach as President of the United States. They needed to build an underground bomb shelter in the fact that he was in Florida and through the Cuban Mission Crisis and the Russian Cold War and be able to take him and put him in a safe place. So as we continue our trip down south on Flagler Drive here, you can see it's a beautiful day today. Everybody is out enjoying the day. It's a phenomenal time to be living in sunny South Florida here as on this fantastic Easter Sunday. So we're gonna come up here as we continue our trek south on Flagler, as we're seeing all the beautiful boats here on the, up on the lifts of the private docks that belong to these magnificent lakefront homes right here in West Palm Beach. There's a beautiful Pagini, there's a Pagani sports car sitting in that parking in that uh, driveway over there. I won't be able to stop there today to get a better view of it, but uh, you never know what you're gonna see. Lamborghinis, Rolls Royce, the Bugatti, Veyrons, the new Chiron is out and uh, when you come down here, you never know what to expect when you're running around town here in sunny South Florida. So we're gonna actually come over here. And I hope you enjoyed the trip. It was a spectacular time. I hope you had a great time on Mr. Sunshine's tour on a motorcycle with his little baby Biney. We're gonna sign off now. If you have any questions, feel free to call 561-693-8636. Mr. Sunshine, Realtor Ready, coming to you live in sunny South Florida.